how to replace that uh, Toshiba Satellite Pro L300 um, keyboards. Now if your keyboard is broken or you've got some soft strings stuck onto the keys, uh, you will need to clean it or need uh, to replace it. Now it's quite easy to replace the keyboard. What you need to do is first turn off the laptop, then use a uh, screwdriver. There is a tool for it, but if you don't want to get the tools, you can just use a uh, simple screwdriver. And you need to open up this top here, this top cover. So beneath it, there's a small um, a small hole. So just open up like this. And once you've got it open, just simply snap out this part here. So once you open it out, these two screw drivers you need to open. So open up the screws here. These two screws you need to open. So that's one. Here's another one. So two screws you need to open. Okay, once you have opened the screws, all you need to do is just open up this clip here, the middle one. So you can just simply pull this one up like this. Walk along the line here and pull out that one. Then just pull out and pull this one out. Beneath here, there is a small cable. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. So what you need to do is pull out this part here. Push it out, push out the white bit here, and then pull this one out. So once you've got this um, keyboard out, you can then replace it with another one. So once you've got the keyboard out, you can then replace it with a new one. So that's the keyboard here. So you can see here, so this keyboard is made in China, so you can uh, just order one from eBay to get a new one. So once you got a new one, this is how you uh, put the keyboard back back in. So make sure this part here is pop out. So make sure they are properly pop out right out. And then this uh, film here, you need to put it back in. So once it is back into place, just close the white bit like this. Push it back in to lock it in place. So I'm just going to zoom in again so you can see. So make sure this white bit here is pushing so like this. Place it all the way in. Then close the white here, the white bit like this. Push it down, and now it's all locked into place. And all you have to do is just simply put the keyboard right back in. So this one here, make it everything all line up. Push it back in. and push it all this back into place so make sure it's all locked in and then use the screwdrivers just close that one Close that one there. And close the top cover. So it just place it right here. Just, with, just push it down like this. And that's pretty much it. You're good to go. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.